The Social Democratic Party's SDP governorship candidate in Ekiti State, Ashura Jishegoni, says security challenges in Ekiti State have overwhelmed the government of Dr. Kali Fayemi. Chief only stated this during his familiarization visit to SDP leaders in Oye, Ikole, Ekiti East, Ijero, Ekiti West, and Aijiri Gwe local government areas of the state. The former governor, who expressed shock over the way insecurity has spread across the land in recent times, challenged Governor Fayemi to bring to bear his experience as a warfare expert to end the ceaseless killing Napping and insecurity before leaving office in October. Ashura Jishegun expressed concern that the Kiti state residents are no longer safe in their houses, on the roads, and in their farms. It's an opportunity to call out the governor. Justify your PhD war studies. The kidnappers have declared a war on us for nearly four years now. They have embarrassed traditional rulers, they were embarrassed uh, visitors, they were embarrassed people. Before you go, before you leave office before October 15, arrest these people. Don't say you are driving them away because there will be no proof for that. The only proof we can have is Bring them to the SDP governorship candidate, however, promised that if elected the next governor on June 18, 2022, his priority would be to eliminate the problem of insecurity. We will bring in technology, we will bring in the finance processes, we will confront the issue of security head on, and it will be better for it. According to him, economy can only thrive where there is security of lives and property. You can have tourism where security is not guaranteed. Who, which tourist wants to go to where he will be killed or kidnapped? When we solve the problem of security, then tourism will come alive in turn. He cautioned equity people not to allow themselves to be overwhelmed by the security challenges facing them, but to vote wisely in the June 18 governorship election in this. We have said all that have not collected their voters' cards should go and collect it. Those who have not registered should go and register. INEC is extending the uh, period for registration. They should go and register and collect their cards. Meanwhile, SDP supporters in Oye, Ikole, Ekiti East, and Ayedere know local government council troop out in their hundreds to welcome Muni and his campaign team. It was the same story in Ejeru and Aramoko. They described him as a man with a golden heart. In everywhere we have been going, people have been attested to his talent qualities. What is on ground now is for SDP to win the election in Ekiti State. And I'm sure if anything should come around me, I will report them at the, at the appropriate quarters. I like Ishegoni because he ruled before and the re-rule is very nice for us. That is why this second time I'm not doing party, but by this time I, I do party because of he ruled before and I like him who I rule. The government that is ruling us now is Ishegoni is better than them. The aged were not left out as they came out to bless Chief Oni. <laughs> The last uh, is only Jean. Shekoni did very, very well. He paid all the pensioners, including myself. Our money is regular. Everything is going well by then. There is no trouble in Ekiti State, although they did not allow him to rule the four years. But now we are praying that the next governor should be Chegun Engina Chegun Oni. The only campaign organization, familiarization, and thank you tour to SDP members in the 16 local government councils in Ekiti State continues.
Elder Dignity, Pop TV News at Big People of the Fountain.